Hi, I'm Jono. I'm here with... Competitive cyclist athlete, Hannah Otto. And we're gonna talk about your race rig for Sea Otter Fuego XL. It's gonna be a fast one. All right, so I see you got a new fork on here that was actually just released at Sea Otter. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, this baby is light. This new Fox 32 step cast is, it's almost a half pound lighter. That's insane. Than the previous version. I don't version. know how they did that. So yeah, it's pretty incredible. Just that alone, I feel like I'm ready to crush sometimes from last year, oh, but yeah. yeah, it's pretty sweet. I personally love the gold. I mean, who doesn't love gold, right? Oh, gold medals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's what we're all striving to, to see and, you know, have, so. Besides its looks, there are some also internal benefits to the new fork. What are those? Yeah, it has the new Grip SL damper, and then it also has remote lockout. So two position, on or off remote lockout for, you know, really quick adjustments on the trail. And when you have it and it's so quick and so easy, it makes it so you can play with it a oh, yeah, lot, for which sure. is nice. I'd be so curious to know how many times I press that in a race. <laughs> like, what would, would you guess? Oh man. A hundred times? It really depends on the race, but like yeah. cross country short track, I, I bet. A lot. So many. Yeah, yeah. so much. Yeah. I think it's great. I think it's, you know, some people may want the orange, but. You know, I have been asked a couple of times if I'm mounting it backwards, but <laughs> rest assured, this is the correct design. And it's part of what has allowed them to make it a lot lighter. It's very, it attracts your eye for sure. Everyone yeah. will know the second that they see this, that it's the new fork, but get used to it because I think clearly the new is the best. Yeah, and I think it's gonna, it's gonna have a lot of gold medals behind it. And maybe, it, you know, Summer Olympics this year, we'll see <laughs> this on the podium, so. Yeah. But what else, what is the bike? I guess we should jump into that. Yeah, this is my Pivot Less SL. It's an extra small, so it is also extremely light. And that's a huge reason why I picked it for this race. So this race can kind of go either way. I could have picked the Mach 4 or the Less. I think for me personally, I love riding the Less on this course. And part of it is because this bike in particular is so compliant. There's really nothing technical at Sea Otter, but it is super chattery. And that's why a lot of people pick a full sus. But for me, I feel like this is very compliant across the chatter. It doesn't take a ton of energy away from me because it is so smooth. And then the last climb in Sea Otter is so deceptive. It's like 15 or 20 minutes long. Yeah. Hence why I've made my bike as light as possible for that final attack, which we it's always crucial. know yeah. comes on that last time. Yeah, we saw the clips last year of, I guess, both races, the men's and women's, it was right there. That exactly. was the race. So. Exactly, so you can see where my mindset is with this, yeah. knowing that I wanna be fast going uphill. For sure. All right, drivetrain. What do we got? Yeah, I've got full Shimano XTR. I've got 34 on the front because there is a lot of climbing, but also there are some flat dirt roads where the pace lines get really fast and really hot. And then I've got a 1051 on the back. So again, I've got that really big climbing gear, but also that sprint finish gear, because it kind of ends on a descent. Nice. Well, that's good for me to know, because I was, I was debating, because I'm gonna also do the race, Different category, obviously, but I'm trying to decide 34 or 32 because I know the climbing, I mean, it's 7,000 plus feet. Yeah. So like that adds up, but I think I'm gonna go with the 34 as well. Yeah, yeah. If you wanna compete, I would go with the 34. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, competitive cyclists, <laughs> I'm competing, so. Exactly. Yeah. So for wheels, I've got the DT Swiss XRC 1200 series wheel with a 30 millimeter internal rim. And then on them, I've got the Kenda Rush 2.4 tire, okay. which again, I think that 2.4 is gonna be really beneficial to help with some of that chatter. There are a few rocky sections where you wanna minimize your flats. I've got SCT protection, so flat protection. And overall, the wider tires, they're just proving to be faster on train uh, like this. Do you ever run Anything narrower than a 2.4? I do sometimes, okay. yeah, yeah, but not for a train like this that's so bumpy. I feel like being able to run that lower pressure ultimately will be faster because you won't have so much bouncing up and down. You'll be a lot smoother okay. going forward. And for this course, is it a tire insert course or would you not even bother with that? I think it depends how you ride. I'm not gonna run a tire insert for this course. I think that if you can keep it smooth and pick good lines, I think you're good to go. Where people can really go wrong on this course is you get going at really high speeds, things will sneak up on you, you'll pick a bad line because you're not looking far enough ahead, you're in big groups, but if you can keep your wits about you, I think lighter is faster. Okay, lighter is faster. 
Got it. So you got a Stages computer, Stages power? Yep, we've got All a right. Stages dual-sided power meter and the Stages Dash M200. I will have the course loaded up on that. I think it's super valuable. Even though you know the course, like I will have pre-ridden it, I will have seen all of the climbs, it's two laps even, so you know where the climb's end. But even so, when you're suffering and you have that countdown for when the climb's ending, even if you know, okay, it ends up there, but you can physically see it's 800 meters away. It's point, you know, whatever yeah, it might you know, be. You it's know you so motivating. Yeah. And that personally helps me a lot. Okay. And if you're leading the race, if you just zone out for a second, you're like, oh crap, did I miss a turn? It's like, <laughs> exactly, it'll tell you, exactly. So. A little extra confidence. Yeah. Boost. <laughs> I've also got another unique thing. I've got the Fox Transfer SL Post, which for me, again, I think that just helps smooth out those descents even more. If I can get my body position in the right <clears throat> spot, that's not only gonna make me faster, but it's also gonna help mitigate issues, mechanical issues, all of those things yeah. by just being in a more comfortable, faster position. Do you think there's people out there that would not run a dropper? Oh, I think there's always people that are trying to do some Same, crazy yeah. thing <laughs> that like, we don't agree with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you're not running a dropper on a mountain bike, I don't know what you're doing. You're not, you're not mountain biking properly. You're missing out, yeah, that's you, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. You're slow. <laughs> I see you have a unique setup here with your dropper lever on the, the right hand. I have always ridden my bike this way. I think just the fact that this is all that I know proves why it can be so wonderful to have your husband also be your mechanic <laughs> because he knows I am so right hand dominant. The only hand that I really want to be doing anything is my right hand. So I have almost all my controls on this side. The only thing I have with my left hand is the lockout, which I'm gonna be using a lot less frequently. Yeah. yeah, also on the bars, so you got some ESI grips. ESI grips, I like the fit CR option because they're ergonomic, so they're actually fit towards my hand. They're narrower on the inside of the grip where I'm holding a little bit stronger. And then they're on a race face carbon next bar with a 31.8 diameter. So again, okay. super, light option. I recently rode a Yeti with, with those bars and they were fantastic. Yeah, it feels really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my Chamonix Apex saddle with carbon rails. So again, super light. Of course, Shimano XTR brakes, tried and true, XTR pedals. Classic. Um, yeah, yeah, I think she's she's pretty darn fast. What was his little smiley face? What's that? Clayton has decided to add a smiley face sticker to all of my bikes for all races this year. Okay. It does match the back of my kit. Yeah. But also there have actually been studies that have shown that if you see a smiley face while doing a hard effort, you're actually able to push harder. Did you just this give is, away your race secret? Well, they're actually so funny because at Leadville last year, one of the girls looked at my kit and she must have known the study because she was like, Hannah, it's on the back of your kit. You're just helping your competition. Wow. So I guess I had to add yeah, one help up yourself. front this yeah. year too, you know, even it out. <laughs> nice. And I see bottle cages uh, also right-hand dominant, I see. Of course, got yeah. a pull to the right. Plus, you know, my frame is so small that you can tell I don't have a lot of room in there for mm -hmm. straight pole cages. So everything's pulled to the right. But, you know, one benefit of needing a smaller frame is, again, it's lighter. Yeah, exactly. And I guess having the two bottles, are you gonna run a hydration pack? I'm not planning on okay. running a hydration pack for this race because there's two feed zones. So I'll be able to get probably two bottles at each zone. So ultimately that'll be even more than I need. Yeah, that's nice. That's pretty sweet. Well, I'm excited to see how you do at the race. Thanks, um, yeah, I I'm expect, stoked. Uh, Maybe your trophy to look a little bit like this fork. The real important thing <laughs> though, is even though we race at separate times, we're doing the same course. I know. So you and I can compare times at the I know. end who to you, see yeah. who wins. Let us know in the comments who you think will be faster overall. <laughs> <laughs> so I see a lot of SLs. We've been talking a lot of SL things, super light. Let's just see how light it is. Yeah, do you have any guesses? Oh, as it sits, or should we take computer and bottles out? I think we gotta make it as light as possible, okay, right? Yeah. right? Is, Should you do some bicep curls? I can do like pinky, pinky curl, curls. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is insanely light. I'm going to say 20, 20 flat. Okay, let's see. Moment of truth. What is it? 21.2. <sighs> That's pretty light. It's pretty light. 
All right, Hannah, it's been great having you here, running through your bike for Sea Otter. I can't wait to see how our little race goes tomorrow. I guess big race, 70 miles is not little. <laughs> Do you think you'll make any changes to your bike after seeing what I'm running? I think I'll make, I'll make a few. Okay. Uh, yeah. You'll You're see. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check out all of our videos coming out from Sea Otter over the next couple of days. See you there.